Next up, we got Almighty J. Let's get it, nigga. So look, bro, why be in Almighty J? First off, I wake up this morning to the news. Uh, and when I'm looking at the video, I don't know if it's real. I don't know if it's fake because the camera angle that I seen, in fact, was kind of blurred out. But then I seen one video where it was looked like it was like a 505, 606 that was outside in the street. And like I said, I couldn't really judge it. TMZ had the little arrow like this YB and Almighty J. Then I'm hearing people saying that's Lil TJ and all this type of shit. I didn't know how to judge the video. And I don't run fake news. So therefore, I didn't run the video. I'm just looking like, bro, if this is Almighty J, this nigga, he, he, he doing too much. You know what I'm saying? You sit your ass down somewhere. Boy, right, look, look, look. All bullshit aside. You got the thing, um, when he was up in L.A., supposedly got his chain snatched in. You know what I'm saying? When he first came out, late 2017, I reacted to one of his videos. When I react to his video, he get mad. Like, I tell y'all, I don't sugarcoat shit. If I don't like it or if I feel like something is whatever into something, speak up on it. But I guess he felt some type of way, then he go ahead off. DJ goes all in the, uh... In the airport, he whooped, he whooped, just all this little, this little boy shit right there. Now I'm like, bro, he finna be around here long. You know what I'm saying? I was messing with Namir before that, and the only reason I reacted to his video because he part of the Namir squad. And I'm like, I finna show him love just for the simple fact he a part of the squad, my nigga. But that was the first and last video I ever did of him. Then I start seeing how he move around. You know what I'm saying? I see him imitating rappers on the people he date. And I told Namir, like, bro, this going to be, anyway, up in New York, they got a second video out. Now, this second video, they said YBN Almighty J got caught slipping. He wasn't around nobody, no security, no homies, no nothing. And I don't see how this happened if you out of state. But I'm not going to say no more because I really haven't seen the video. We finna get into it right now, bro. And at the same time. Like I told y'all, Jay just moved like a, I know he's still a teenager. If he's not, what, 19, 20, whatever the case, you in a grown man game now. You can't be moving like a little boy around here because they go, it's going to eat you up, spit you out. And... Anyway, here we go, man. That's the YB, nigga. Take his chin. Whoa, chin. got his ass out? That's the YB, nigga. That's what I'm talking about right there, bro. Was that him? I couldn't even. Hold up. That's the YB, nigga. Take his chin. Take his chin. Got his ass out. Take his chin. That's the YB, nigga. Where's your homies at that point? That's what I'm saying. You up in the lobby, bro. And if you up in New York. Look, I'm going to tell you like this. There's goons everywhere. The niggas that took his chain, yeah, whatever the case. This is what I got to say, bro. And y'all can pay attention to this shit. When you on the West Coast, you stunting, that'll get you smoked. That's why y'all barely see. Well, you got a very, very few, like 5% of West Coast rappers that be up there with a lot of money. A lot of Jewels talking about I got this pull up up in videos with all the good because niggas will pull up and smoke you, bro. That's why he got tested out there when he got his chance snatched the first time or whatever the case. Up in New York, and yeah, you know it's gonna be an issue if you pull up. If you know that for a fact, bro, you're supposed to have your homies or security with you everywhere you roam. And you rappers think y'all be busters if y'all don't have security, nigga. You need security, I don't care, nigga. Mike Tyson can't fight a hundred niggas at one time, you know what I'm saying? This look from Gazi as fuck right here, and it and it and it and it look bad. It look hella bad on your part. Niggas be pussy. Whoa. Niggas be pussy. Right here. You pussy nigga on my mother, nigga. Oh, oh. You know, you know fucking elevator, nigga. You drunk, nigga. Everything for me. Drunk. Shut the fuck up. Fuck up, nigga. What? Bro, this can't be real, bro. This can't be. I'm not even clowning no more, Jay. I don't even know you got it this bad. Nigga, where your homies at? They got you running down the street in your socks, my nigga? 
and your socks on the back street of New York and you have no home, no real... What the fuck? Why be in the mirror? I told you before. If YBA was to come to a downfall, Jay will be the downfall of YBN. I fuck with Manny. I fuck with Corday. I mess with you, bro, and everybody else do. But this type shit right here is just not cool. And mind you, anybody can get caught slipping. I'm not saying it like I can get caught slipping. But at this point out of town, bro, and you always in the camera talking all this, saying people lying on you, this ain't nothing right here but karma. Oh, I was just playing. We didn't really rob Skinny for the nine. They got cameras. Then you go and turn yourself in. With the look. Psh, bro, the energy you put out is the energy you get back straight up. This look bad right here. I'm going to beat 100 with you. This look bad. Pussy, bro. Wow, right in the Ooh, face. Nigga. Run, nigga, what's up? Let him go, let him go, let him go. And then you even, even the dude that's recorded, the cameraman kicked him. And I know this is two different incidents, because like I said, the first video I seen, YBN had on all black. So either this, this, this look bad, bro. Nigga, everything for big. Shut the fuck up. Cameraman, bro. look. Look, bam. Ooh, cameraman nigga. kicked it. Run, what's up? Out of here. I'm out of here. That's the YBN, nigga? Take his chin. Take his chin. Take his chin. That's the Got his ass in the air looking like Black China head at. That this. Look, bro. About the way you move. I spoke up on it before. People not going to respect it if you always in the camera speaking on your every move. We know after this, you're going to speak up on it. We know you're going to get up in the camera saying, oh, it was a setup. They can't see me one-on-one. -on -one. Yada, yada, this, yada, yada. It's time for you to grow up, bro. Because niggas out here ain't playing and they looking at you like straight food. That YBN shit is cool, but like I said, you making them look bad. You running around with rap a lot chains and you making them... Fuck this airplane. We finna just go ahead and let it go. I'm not even gonna... St I ain't finna edit none of this up. I'm gonna keep on smoking. You know what I mean? What the fuck y'all do today? They gonna be coming back to back. That's where I moved that out here on the... Hey, look, I try to isolate myself, but this weird area... Like I was saying, it's time for you to grow up, bro. Because niggas out here looking at you like straight food. You know what I'm saying? You roll around with the YBN chains, making them look bad. Whatever you represent, you making them look bad. Rap a lot chains, you making them look bad. The goons in New York, what they gonna do? Take them chains, get on Instagram, like, just like the last one did. All oh, this fake, this only worth $3,000, $2,000, whatever the case. Woo, woo, woo. And it don't make it better. It don't make it a get back. And, don't, and look, bro. When they took your chain, you came back with your new piece with the little crown or whatever you had. Like, fuck that chain. I got me a new one. Yada, yada, yada. Now they took that one. Once they take this one, bro, like I'm telling you, stun don't get you nowhere. And if you know you ain't got the muscle to move like your mouth move, bro, you need to stop talking like that, period. I do not see none of these young niggas moving. 6 9 had the biggest mouth in the world, bro, but he had the security to back it up. You know what I'm saying? Your squad ain't gonna be enough. Niggas need to have burners and pistol now. You playing with, not even playing with. You messing with grown men out here now, bro. And if they see this happen on the internet, it's gonna be soon enough. You hit another city, they gonna try to try you. In another city, they gonna try to try you. Look out for your squad, bro. And what I mean by look out for your squad, you're not in it by yourself. Corday and the mirror still have an image, no matter how. Fast, how big Corday getting right now, getting respected by all the OGs, getting respected. I, look, he getting respected by everybody. He's still rapping YBN, which is cool, but guess what? You rapping that shit too, which is cool. But what's not cool is how you keep putting the blemish on the name, bro. Look out for your brothers, thinking this is the perfect time for you to kick back and think about a rebranding. 
You doing YouTube? Go ahead and do that for a minute. But if you're trying to stay in the media, rapping like Blueface, trying to hit on Black China, trying to do all that, all that extra shit, it's not even worth it. Robin, it's not worth it, bro. Your career is going down the drain in front of your eyes, nigga. And this is 2019. I'm not saying you can come back. Because if this, look, if this was 1990, you get your chain snatched, nigga, your career is over with. But 2019, you can come back. But like I said, rebrand this time. You got to think better, bro. You got to think smarter. Tell everybody else I love y'all. Man, I'm out of here. DJ Ghost 100.